One of the most stunning features that was teased in Hogwarts Legacy's devlog was just how massive the in-game map will be. Lots of speculation has come from the community in general as to how much we have yet to see since we've only been provided with about 20 minutes of footage in relation to the game. When you examine some of the concepts that are contained within the devlog and shown in the actual state of play, I can't help but get fired up about playing in the wizarding world and not just around the wizarding world or a small portion of it like Hogwarts Castle, for example, or a few predetermined maps like we've had to uh, play through in the past. Now, after watching many other videos from content creators about the map, I realized that I had noticed something that no one else had. So go ahead and grab a butterbeer and let's get down to the details. I'm really excited to see so many new people come into the channel. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. Not only is Hogwarts Legacy rife with details like secret runes, hidden in concept art, and in-game footage that I discussed last week, which you can get to in the video linked in the card above, but it's also full of caverns, forests, dungeons, swamps, and villages that we will have access to for the first time when we get to experience Hogwarts Legacy in all its glory. So to start, I think it's only appropriate to take a look at what little slice of map we do have and examine it just a little bit more. So as a few people have already pointed out, we see labels on the map in forms of numbers that are dotted all over different areas of the map, which I'm going to call sectors or cells just for the duration of the video from here on out. Now what I've discovered in this format of uh, notation, identification, or whatever it is that you want to call it, is that it's clearly meant to be a reference point or an identifier of a segment of the map just for like development purposes. Like, for example, uh, hey man, did you check out the bug on the South River Dungeon in 6-6? Or, like, we need more potion ingredients in Northwest 6-5. It was pretty empty when I was running a side mission the other day. After poring over this map for more time than I should probably admit, I noticed a few incredible things. The first thing was the little dungeon entrances and totems that I'll assume are going to be points of interest in the game. Uh, looks like there's going to be tons of them, and it looks like there's going to be a lot to explore just based on what we can see and only imagine what they could stand for. Let me know how many dungeon entrances you can actually count on this one map alone in the comment section down below. The second is that when I'm looking for a particularly important landmark in a Hogwarts game, like a Hogwarts castle maybe, I don't see it anywhere. I don't see Hogsmeade, and I definitely don't see the Forbidden Forest. So where are they? Which leads me to my third revelation, the actual size of the map. I noticed on the map that this grid would theoretically count down from 6 to 1 on both the X axis and Y axis, as you can see in my extremely detailed Microsoft Paint version of this map. Doing some pretty impressive math gives us a scale of 6 by 6, or 6 cells on the X axis by 6 cells or sectors on the Y axis. So multiplying those two together, we get 36 sections of map total. This means that the image that they gave us only represents about 17% of the map present. So if you were to take the version that they gave us in the sneak preview and multiply it to properly scale with those numbers that we could expect, it would look something like this cursed image right here. I had to use a 10,000 by 10,000 pixel image in Photoshop to get this to fit all of the parts together. So zooming out looks like absolutely insane, but you get it, okay? It's a huge map. And then please forgive me for my awful Photoshop skills. I do need to poke a hole in my own amazing interpretation of this map, of course, because it doesn't account for any verticality or depth, really. I don't think this game world is going to be as two-dimensional as this grid represents, simply because we see a lot of varying terrain in the state of play and teasers that we've gotten so far. There are some bits of the map that could be stacked above or below other segments because we know there will be dungeon crawling, mountain traversing, and flat ground activities like going to classes at Hogwarts. The sheer volume of detail to various forms of terrain will be what makes this map so large. I mean, just think about all the detail of Hogwarts Castle alone, and that's only a small part of the larger game map. Now, I want you to imagine that the other 30 cells of this map are just as detailed and full of adventure and puzzles, 
bad guys to take down, creatures to tame, and new ancient skills to master. That is a Hogwarts game that I could play for years. And frankly, I expect that's the purpose. I'm also going to pump the brakes just a little bit to set some expectations for a day one release. I would love nothing more than to dream about all the things at our fingertips when the game launches, but I also don't want to hype it up too much and expect so much stuff that I'm disappointed when I can't just go anywhere I want, whenever I want. There's just no chance we get the entirety of the map. I think this is an amazing opportunity for further development down the line for DLCs and other paid content as well. I'm hoping for like a Skyrim-esque life cycle that allows us to keep playing for as long as we possibly can, maybe even open up the game eventually to the community for modding and all kinds of just absolute crazy stuff. Like, I don't know what this game could look like in the next few years, but all I know is that if I think it's as big as it is, or if, if the game is even half as big as I think it is, then it will be one of the largest maps that I will have ever personally played uh, over the course of my gaming career. So it's just one of those things that I'm really looking forward to having my hands on. I mean, we're talking about the castle and Gringotts and all of these dungeons and fortresses and places these, these bad guys are like dwelling. There's just going to be so much to do, including side quests from villagers and requests to go on adventures with our companions and all of that. So I just, just like, there's just going to be so much to explore and i cannot wait for us to take that journey together guys thank you so much for watching the video i do appreciate each and every one of you if you want to i would love to have you over on our discord server where we're talking about the game theorizing constantly throwing ideas around of course just chatting about general live stuff so join that if you feel like you want to do that and then of course also have a patreon and i do get support you know and, and love that support from each and every person um, I just updated my benefits. So I've got some newer stuff over there if you haven't checked that out in a while or if you haven't ever seen it at all, definitely go uh, check that out and see if there's something that you like. Buy me a coffee or whatever and we'll hang out and talk. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.